Think of a fire without a fireplace. And then think of a fireplace without a fire. They're both pretty stupid. Well, the fire is the actual life of Christ in your life, your actual lived personal relationship with Christ. The fact that Christ is the Lord of your life. And the fireplace is the church. That's the whole structure, the dogmatic and moral and ecclesiastical structure, and above all, the sacramental structure through which that life comes, and which is a means to that end, as a fireplace is a means for the fire. Well, I think a lot of Protestants have a fire without much of a fireplace, but unfortunately, a lot of Catholics have a fireplace without much of a fire. The single worst trauma I think that I ever have in my teaching is sometimes I give my students questionnaires. One of the questions I often ask on the questionnaire is, if you were to die tonight and you met God, and God said, you want to go to heaven? And you said, of course. And then God said, okay, why should I let you in? What's your answer? I have never gotten more than 5% of my so-called Catholic students even mention the name of Jesus in their answer. They don't even know how to get to heaven. What have we been teaching them? They usually say things like, well, I've tried to live a good life, I've been kind, I haven't killed anybody. In other words, they're Pharisees. Lord, I thank you that I'm good enough to get into heaven. That's the worst possible answer they could give. They've had 12 years of Catholic education and they don't know the simplest thing in the world. That's an unmitigated disaster. On the other hand, when I have Protestant students, almost every one of them gave the right answer to that question. Something's wrong here. The heart of Catholic Christianity is Christ himself. Well, what kind of relationship am I talking about? Is it enough to know about God? Is it enough to pass a theology exam? Do you get into heaven by getting a 60 instead of a 59 on God's theology exam at the gates? No. In terms of getting to heaven, it's not so much what you know, it's who you know. You have to know him.